This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Hundreds of protesters outside a fraternity house on the University of Kansas campus overnight. People there told our sister station they were protesting the rape of a woman Saturday night. It was allegedly by a member of the fraternity Phi Kappa Psi. Now, protesters say they want him arrested. The fraternity issued a statement saying they are aware of the allegations and they are fully cooperating with the investigation. The mask mandate has been extended at the University of Missouri, including the campuses in Kansas City and Columbia. Masks are required inside classrooms and public buildings until October 15th. The owner of Ray's Cafe in Blue Springs will be back in court come tomorrow morning. That's when a judge will rule on the restaurant's restraining order. Ray's owner is asking a judge to throw it out. She claims she didn't get a chance to respond before a judge approved the county's request for that order. The cafe was shut down on Friday for willfully violating Jackson County's mask mandate. Kevin Strickland will have to wait another day for his shot at freedom. He spent the last 43 years in prison for a triple murder he maintains that he did not commit. The Missouri Attorney General says the judge is responsible for creating the narrative of Strickland's innocence and wants the judge to recuse himself. Both sides will be back in court Friday morning for the judge's decision. Aaron. And a storm track five weather alert posted for our Tuesdays. We will be tracking rain moving into our area over the next 24 hours. No rainfall to worry about though for your Tuesday morning rush hour. We'll see dry conditions as you're heading out the doorway this morning with temperatures in the 70s. As we're moving into this afternoon, we'll top out near 83 degrees for today with increasing chances of rain for some of us by late this afternoon and especially extending into some of those evening plans for tonight, Gina. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.